It feels like we've had a new release from Rode pretty much every month this year. And at this point, I'm getting slightly nervous I might have to review the Rodecaster 3 on Christmas Day or something. Today, we're looking at the Rode Video Micro 2. So, let's dive in. Thanks for checking out Radio.co on YouTube. If you want to see more kit reviews, live webinars, and handy broadcasting tips, then give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and click the bell icon. The Video Micro series is Rode's smallest and quite often cheapest in their on-camera microphone range. The original was superbly popular with people like vloggers, for instance, due to its small form factor. The original and the Video Micro 2 is very similar to the Video Micro Go, or the Video Micro Go 2. This is gonna get confusing, I'm sorry. The only real difference being um, a slight difference in the shock mount, uh, and you also get USB-C on the Video Go 2. The Video Micro 2 only has the 3.5 millimeter port, um, which means you can just plug it into a camera and you go and you don't need to power with batteries or anything like that. Um, it will just record sound straight away, which is a plus. So what are you actually getting for that $82? Well, the mic itself has a super cardioid polar pattern directional audio pickup with a frequency range of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. There's a helix insulation mount system which should help protect the mic from any bumps and knocks you might have while you're out and about. There's also that 3.5 TRS output I mentioned, which like I say, no batteries required. Um, there's your classic road muff included, but unlike on the go, you also get um, a windproof muff as well, which is always nice to have. Um, and yeah, like I say, on the go, you have to buy that separately. Even though it's a full metal body microphone, um, excluding the red jiggly part here, um, it only comes in at 39 grams, which is exceptionally light, and it's even lighter than the original. So that's all well and good, but how does it sound? Let's find out. So I thought the best way to test out this mic was to do a bit of vlogging, as I think this is primarily what this mic will be used for. Um, one issue I found is that I can't actually get the screw top um, there to twist upwards. It, it is like completely jammed, so I can't actually attach it to any of our cameras. Um, I'm currently holding it in the place where it would usually be to try and get a sort of good uh, example of how it sounds. So yeah, this is what it sounds like indoors. Um, probably a few minus points there for road, but I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt and say that this is probably just some sort of fault. Um, and yeah, I feel like if you'd contacted them, they'd probably send you a new one. Okay, we're now outside in the heart of Manchester city center and it is freezing. I don't know why I didn't bring my coat. It also stinks of fish. But yeah, like I say, still holding it on top of the camera. Um, how do you think it sounds? Let me know down in the comments. So I was trying to think of uh, what mic to compare this to best in this video. Um, and it kind of struck me that Rode really does dominate the on-camera microphone market currently. There are others out there, but really if you like Google on-camera microphone, you're bound to see mainly Rode ones. Um, so yeah, it was kind of which microphone from Rode do I compare this other microphone from Rode? There's no doubt that the Micro 2 is an improvement on the Micro 1 in terms of sound quality and the weight. So I didn't think there was much point comparing those two. But its biggest competitor in terms of form factor and size is probably like I say, the go-to. So how do they stack up? Yeah, with the go-to, you're getting USB-C on the side, and there's a slightly better shot mount, as you can see, just from looking at it. It's around 10 to 15 pounds dollars more uh, than the Micro 2, and there isn't much uh, difference in sound quality, to be honest. So really, it's up to you whether or not you think you'll get any use out of the USB-C input and um, the better shot mount. But if you want better sound quality, then it might be worth looking at the original um, Video Mic or the Video Mic Pro series. Something like the Video Mic Pro, for instance, is obviously going to be much better in specs, um, but it is pretty much an extra hundred pounds slash dollars, so it's whether or not you want to spend that extra cash. It's also much bigger and heavier, um, and you have the extra risk of using batteries, which could run out at any moment without any announcement from the microphone itself and you lost all your audio recording. Batteries are also expensive, so that's an added expense for having it. So yeah, if, you, if you're just looking at vlogging, for instance, or um, just like family videos or travel videos or something like that, um, these two are probably better for you. Um, and also if they're just gonna be used for like background sound. Um, it's also incredibly cheap in comparison to other on-camera mics, but if $80 is still a little bit expensive for you, um, the original Video Micro 1 is still on sale uh, for about $50, I believe. So that's about $30 less than the Micro 2. Overall then, I do think this is a wonderful little mic. It's definitely a worthy upgrade from the original Video Micro and um, a lovely little addition to Rode's family of on-camera microphones. But as always, that's just what I think. What do you think? 
Please let me know down in the comments below, are you going to be picking one up? Have you already got one and you'd like to let me know how it is? Please tell me. Sorry, that sounded really bossy. You don't have to tell me, just if, you, if you'd like to. And before you go, uh, please make sure you've hit subscribe, you've hit the like button, all that jazz, because it really does make a difference to our videos. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. And as always, happy broadcasting. And just before you go, how would you like to launch your very own online radio station? Surprisingly, it's a lot simpler than you may think. And the absolute best way to get started is by chatting to myself, or another member of the Radio.co team. To do that, just head to radio.co forward slash demo to schedule a video call with us, where we'll discuss your plans, answer your questions, and of course, guide you around the Radio.co software.